everybody, Nick, you are here. We are joined by a very special guest today on the prep cast is broad run head football coach, Matt Griffiths and coach. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me, Nick. So you guys had a big win last Friday night over freedom 59 to seven, uh, obviously a good win for you guys, but what are some of the things that you really liked and maybe some things you'd like to sharpen up moving forward here? So it hasn't been against our starters. Uh, I think, you know, we've only given up 30 points total in uh, eight games. So I'm really pleased with how our defense is playing, their aggressiveness. Uh, you know, we're aligning correctly. You know, we're assigning correctly. And then offensively, I feel like we've been really efficient with the ball. Um, you know, our yards for play have been pretty good. So when we're running the ball, we're getting good yards for carry, and we've been real efficient throwing the ball. Yeah, that's a great point. Uh, once again, we are joined by Broad Run head football coach Matt Griffiths, and we're going to take a quick commercial break, but don't go anywhere as we'll be right back here for a very special interview with Broad Run head football coach Matt Griffiths. We'll be right back. At dmvstream.com, we're working hard in our HD production studio to continue to bring our viewers a continuous flow of new and fresh hey content. Our studio material includes shows, analysis, recaps, previews, highlights, interviews, and commentary all about your favorite DMV sports, including high school, colleges, and pro teams. Commercial space and inventory is available for sponsorship and businesses. Learn more about how to join our network of partners at dmvstream.com. That's dmvstream.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a very special edition of the PrepCast as we are joined by Broad Run head football coach Matt Griffiths. And, Coach, we are talking about your season so far um, for the Spartans, and we're getting right back into it. You guys had a little bit of a slip-up to start the year and now have won seven in a row, 7-1 um, on the year. What's been the biggest key to the recent success, you'd say? Well, first of all, we didn't lose the first game. Okay, yeah, I wanted to get a clear, clear up on that as well. So <laughs> I've seen a bunch of different um, things, so, yeah. So I can clear up that. First, you know, we had a... Uh, player who was we weren't aware he, um, moved here during his sophomore year he was in his fifth year of high school which we were not aware of until we found out the Monday after the game and we found out about 10 a.m. and we self-reported within 30 minutes to the Virginia High School League um, and you know we appealed it you know he was only in for four plays and they were non-factor plays um, but our conference voted that down why I don't know why but um it is what it is. So in our minds, we're eight. No, the Virginia High School League recognizes us as seven one. But you know, you gotta you gotta win. You know, you know. Yeah, you know, if we went on out, we're conference champs. If we don't, we're not conference champs. That first game doesn't really matter. So. Yeah, totally understand that. So, um, what do you think has been the key uh, success for you guys this year offensively? Would you say? Offensively, um, I feel like we, you know, we've we're pretty balanced. I mean, we we have a, our O line's done a good job. Our skill players are um, really really good. Um. You know, our, our running back, Tim Baldwin, is a very uh, special player, a physical kid. He's been injured the last couple games, um, so he hasn't played in the last, I think, three and a half games, four games. Uh, so we've missed having him. We're excited about getting him back soon. Um, our wideouts are doing a great job, and, you know, we, we put a big uh, emphasis on our perimeter screen game. And uh, they call themselves a bully squad. They do a great job of blocking for one another. And that opens up our vertical passing game, too. And so our quarterback, uh, Mitch Griffiths, has been very, very efficient with the ball. He's uh, completing 70% of his passes. And, and when you can do that in high school football, good things are going to happen. And, and we got some good, some great playmakers at wide out that allow us to, to throw the ball vertically, too. So we've been getting good chunks of yardage um, throwing the ball. So. Yeah, it's something very rare in the high school level, and that's a great point with your wideouts and quarterbacks, something you don't really see too often. But you guys are in such a great area for football right there in Ashburn, Stonebridge, and Briarwoods, um, two high schools right there with you guys. What is it like having so uh, three programs so successful so near each other? Um, well, I think it, you know, I think iron sharpens iron, um, without a doubt. So, you know, you're playing, you're playing great teams, and, you know, you got Tuscarora right down the road also. And then, you know, we play Woodgrove at a conference, and they're, they're always, you know, winning their conference at, at the 4A level. So, you know, you go out and you play these, these really good teams, and um, you find out where you're at. You know, you want to be challenged in the regular season because the games that really, really matter in the postseason. And when you go out and you play these good teams, they kind of expose you a little bit. You find out what your weaknesses are, what you need to work on. And, uh, you know, you, you learn a lot more from a loss than you do a win. 
and uh, or just a, a, a really tight ball game. You know, when you're winning by a score, you learn a lot about your, your kids, their resiliency, you know, their mental toughness, and, and what you really got to work on. So when you get to the playoffs and, you know, if you lose, you're done, um, they make you that much better for getting prepared for those games. But just in the in the long term, I mean, you know, this is my ninth season here, and during that time we've played some really, really good ball clubs and some really good individual players. So I think it's made us better as a program playing these good teams uh, because, again, you know, like I said at the beginning, iron sharpens iron. Yeah, it seems like every week there's a great game out there in the Ashburn area. So you guys are, um, once again, we're joined by Broad Run head coach Matt Griffiths um, in the prep cast. And right now I saw you guys are currently ranked 11 in the Washington Post. Is that something that means a lot to you guys, that type of ranking? Um, I mean, yes and no. I don't think they do a great job of rating people. Like if you were to look at us, you want to compare scores. I know you can't always compare scores. They got Wise rated pretty highly up there. Um, we blew, we uh, beat Parkdale. They beat Parkdale. We beat them uh, soundly. And, and their coaches at Parkdale said we were the better team, too. So, you know, it, it, that's why we like playing teams out of the area. We, we like to see how we do against teams from Virginia Beach and teams against Maryland and not just the teams around here. Um, I mean, it's nice. It's great, you know, to be ranked and whatever. But, um, you know, I, I think they don't give – I don't think they give Virginia football enough, uh, enough due. I think they can put a lot of weight on the private schools. And the Maryland schools. I think there's really good football played in the state of Virginia. In fact, I think it's better um, than a lot of people give it credit for. But, you know, you like being ranked, but it's not where you are right now. It's where you finish. Yeah, I would agree with you on that one as well. Certainly some good football being played at the Virginia level. Definitely can play with a lot of those teams in Maryland as well. Um, so, like you said, you're going into your ninth year here. Have a, had tremendous success at Broad Run. They were pretty uh, successful as well before. And so what do you – kind of tell your guys maybe to not to get complacent or to overlook an opponent like maybe it could have last week? Um, you know, we just talk about getting better ourselves, worried about us. So, you know, every week, you know, you play a new opponent. And, you know, yeah, we talk about them. We talk about their schemes. We talk about they, what, what they do. But ultimately, uh, winning and losing is coming down to how we prepare. Um, not the other team, but how we focus on us and us getting just a little bit better, you know, each and every day. And, you know, as everybody says, trust in the process. I know it's cliche, but that's what we talk about all the time. Like, you're going to have good days, you're going to have bad days, you're going to have good plays, you're going to have bad plays. It's how you react and how do you get better for the next play, the next day, the next game. So, you know, we just challenged our kids in the last couple games. You know, we felt like we were going to have success. And we threw some challenges out there for the kids. Um, and uh, they took them to heart. You know, they, they, there were certain goals that they wanted to accomplish in each of those games. And, and I think we did a great job in all three facets of accomplishing those goals. So with your process and with your program, do expectations change year to year, or is it or is it stay the same with this team or your program is pretty much trying to win the conference championship every single year? Yeah, it's never changed. You know, you always talk about you want to win the conference title first, regional title second, and then, you know, the state championship third. It's just, you know, one, one title at a time, you know. You, you don't want to get ahead of yourself. And, you know, so our goal is to win the conference title, and, and we're in position to do that. You know, if we win the next two, we'll be conference champs. So, you know, we still got we still got two more to play, So and they're, and they're two really good ball clubs. So we're not going to just show up and win because we wear maroon and gold. We're going to have to play hard and prepare hard. Yep, that's a great point as well. Once again, we are joined by broad run head football coach Matt Griffiths. And I got to ask you, you've had excellent quarterback play this year by your son, Mitch. What's it been like to do this with your son and go on such a great uh, year so far? Uh, it's been a lot of fun. You know, um, he's got an extremely high football IQ. Um, and he's, you know, loves the game. He's a real student of the game. Uh, it's nice being able to, to break down film with him right next to me in the kitchen, you know, every night, come up with our, um, you know, talk about strategies and, and plays and what we like, what we don't like against certain looks. And uh, so I've had the luxury, you know, because he's there, he really understands the system. And he's been part of the system since he was in fifth grade, mm -hmm. you know, if not longer. So he knows what the checks are, you know, what we want to check in and out of versus on, you know, based on different uh, defensive fronts or secondary coverages and stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun, and, you know, he's having a good time, but he, he, he works really hard too. And he's got the luxury of having an O-line that works extremely hard, uh, good running backs, and, and good wide receivers. So he, he's very fortunate to have a lot of very, very good players around him. Yeah, some excellent skill players for the Spartans, and I'm sure he's been studying that offense ever since you got to to broad run. So that's another great point. So I love to uh, ask you here about these two games to end the stretch. We've talked about it briefly, and I love to get more in depth here. You have two huge rivalry games in the year at Briarwoods, and then home versus Stonebridge. Do you guys like that having it back to back in the year like that, or do you rather have it kind of spread out? Uh, it's fine. I mean, I, I don't know. It, 
it changes every two years, you know. Uh, would you like them spread out? Sure, you know, because they're two pretty emotional games just because they're rivalry. And both schools are within, you know, two miles of us. So, yep. um, you know, you got the, the bragging rights for the for Ashburn and stuff like that. So would you like to spread out a little bit? Sure, but they're not. So it is what it is. And we just got to attack one game at a time. Yeah, that's a great point. Certainly you guys have been doing that so far this season. So we'll get you out of here on this, Coach. We're joined by Coach Matt Griffiths of Broad Run once again. And so you guys had a great season last year as well. Tough playoff loss, very close game. So what do you think will be the biggest key in this year in making that deep playoff run? Um, staying healthy. Mm-hmm. Great you know, point, I, I, yeah. think, I think any team that, that makes a deep run, because um, w- when you get to the playoffs, all the teams are good, right? Um when you look at our conference, you know, the, the top four or five teams are really good. So it's going to come down to being a little bit lucky, you know, in the games, uh, some breaks going your way, and, and staying healthy. Because I think, you know, all the teams are really good, and I think all the coaching is really, really good. But it's like, who can, who can stay healthy and who can get a couple uh, lucky breaks? Yeah, so last question. How much do you think it plays into it that a lot of the times these playoff matches are rematches since you guys are so good playing in the top of that conference? Uh, they're always rematches, it seems like. Yep. <laughs> um, you know, and, and I like playing new teams. I think everybody likes playing new opponents. But um, you basically got to gotta win the conference twice or play the conference twice uh, if you want to make it past the regional. So, um, again, if you, if you can win this region, you got a good shot at winning the whole thing because the, the level of play and the quality of coaching is outstanding here. Yep, that's certainly true. It should be excellent football down the stretch here in Northern Virginia. And if you think – Coach Matt Griffiths from Broad Run for joining us. Thank you, Coach. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. All right, we thank you for joining us. And remember, if you like to catch back and see more highlights, videos, and interviews from stuff all around the DMV, make sure to check us out every week at dmvstream.com. Thank you.